Okay, there we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Regular Gamer Alex. Welcome back to more Alan Wake 2 Night Springs DLC. So, last video we did a episode one, number one fan. We play as Rose and basically played out one of her fan fictions. So, now we're going to move on to episode two, North Star. And let's see where this goes. Yep, go ahead, just load in the episode. Young woman on a mission to save a missing loved one. Desperately trying to stay one step ahead of the shadowy government agents hunting her. Agents from the very same agency that took the only person she cares about. On her quest, she is guided by her mysterious alien guardian angel. Her guiding star shows her the way, as it always has. She does uh... not know what strangeness awaits her, as she follows its unwavering light to the small town of Night Springs. Tonight's dreamlike episode, North Star. They'll play by Alan Wake and Roland Dor, of course. This is gonna get strange. Oh! There's no helping it. Duh, Alex! The universe is much deeper. I know who we're playing as in this one. And people know. My brother and I know. We've seen it. We've seen you. But there are some people. An agency that doesn't want anyone knowing more than what they see. That there she is! <laughs> hey, and Jess! Been chasing me my whole life. Yeah, the FBC. But I can't keep running. Hey, Jess! Okay. So, for those who don't know who this is, because you guys might not have played Control. In fact, I actually did not play it on the channel. That's something I played in my own spare time before Alan Wake 2 came out. We're playing as Jess. You guys already know about the FBC, the Federal Bureau of Control, but basically kind of researches, trying to contain and understand anomalies and events that harm the world and reality and such. Similar to, like, the, the lake and the darkness that hides within it. Stuff like that. That's the kind of event that the FBC would be looking into. And Jess here was, well, the director of the FBC for a good bit, but let's just say a lot of things happen. Bit of this, bit of that. A lot happened. If you don't know, I'm not going to say all of it because it might spoil those who have not played Control yet. And also, there's a lot to it because it's a whole nother game. But we knew that this, that uh, Control was a part of the Alan Wake universe because I think it was the second DLC revolved around the events of Alan Wake. So I'm not surprised we're actually finally playing as her. I was expecting to actually see her in the main game. Instead, we got another agent from the FBC instead of Jess. You think something here's important? What, the numbers? Close till further notice. February, uh, did I say February? Saturday 22nd. Okay, maybe there, maybe there's a pattern. Let me look. Okay, so it goes from 61 to 58, then to 104, then 112, and what? Okay, numbers are going a bit. Hmm. Okay, I think we need to find out the code for this through that. So, it's closed till further notice, that's obvious. But how do... Okay, so... Okay, let's see, so Friday 7th would be 116, so... It adds 22 for that. But then it adds 4, and then 12, then 6, then 5. What? Okay. Wait, no, there is a bit of a pattern. Wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, 61 to 58, which would be... Minus 3. Then plus... 46. But none of them go up like that again. 
Oh, wait, no. Is it 2 free 8? Because he's kind of circling 2 free 8 there. Is it 2 free 8? It is. It was literally circling 2 free 8. Until now. You helped me find this place. Now you'll help me get him back. Right? Whoa. That's not good. Hello? Nope, Is those are enemies. Here? Yep, I see shadows. That's not a good sign. Do I have any weapons? I got a trauma pad. Great, that's not the most helpful here. Or can we use our own supernatural powers? What the fuck are those? Bullets. Well, we need a gun for those. Uh, left or right? Uh, go right. More ammo and batteries, but we don't have a gun or a flashlight. Wait. Hold on, he's highlighting this over here. Oh! You think there's something there? Uh, there's a person. Oh, it's a sheriff! Sup? Here, get inside the light. We're inside the light. We're inside the light now. Here. How did you even get inside? Shit, a cop. Should I lie? I kind of let myself in. You got more than you bargained for, huh? Okay, what's with the what's shadows? What's going on here? Yeah, she's not going to know anything about what's happening. People. Well, that's what I'm here trying to figure out. The government's been putting something in the coffee. Turning people into coffee monsters. The government. Okay. Is this the same government agency that's been chasing me all these years? Uh, possibly? I'm... <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> someone. My brother. Have you seen anybody? Well, only if you count those monsters. I'm sorry, ma'am. They've been abducting people from Night Springs, too. I'm here to get them back home. But now it's time you left. It's not safe here. Something, Something in the coffee? Something coffee is doing this? Really? It took me a while to wrap my head around it, too. At first, I thought... Well, I don't know what I thought. But now it's clear. This is deep state science. Sure. I'm not it's going really anywhere. very much well could be. <laughs> I respect that. Or at least in this version. There's a warehouse just past the park. It's locked up tight. Has some fancy government security system. But the intercom is busted. I figure that's where they're keeping our missing folks. There's a, a spare pistol and flashlight on the bench. I'd feel better if you took them. Those monsters don't do well with light. And whatever. Yeah, we'll be taking these. Thank you, Sheriff. Do not drink the coffee. This should make things easier. Yeah, I don't think the coffee's what's doing this, but you never know, because... Because this is obviously, uh, like I said, this is Night Springs, so this is basically like... Kind of like Twilight's like alternate version of the world we know of from Alan Wake. Have you seen me, Jacob Flimson? I see how I can add Night Springs National Park. Your reporting party, advisor reporter, Jacob Flimson. Springs... Uh, night under stars, and I may be cold, but the coffee is hot. Be open, bring your family nights. Order some chance to do our own open night. Okay, nothing important to help us. Uh, what's the button to use the flashlight? Oh, there we go. <laughs> and this is what happens when it's been a while since I played Alan Wake. Okay, so we need to find. Oh, wait, Let's hold check on. Check out that warehouse the sheriff mentioned. Yep, he's highlighting it for us. You still with me? Uh, yep, Good he is. Here. Now I just need to get over here. Okay, well, he's a block our way, but we can get rid of him. Oh, wow. Yeah, who would have guessed a place called Coffee World would smell like, I don't know. Yeah, 
There we go. <laughs> Do not mess with us. Trust me. She will fuck you up. <laughs> this must be the warehouse. But how do I get inside? Oh, we'll find a way. Hi, uh, I need to get inside. Please insert passkey. Sorry, I lost it. Machine. Yeah, that's not working. Sure. What's the question? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Triangle or coffee? Triangle? Triangle? It's coffee, isn't it? Okay, let's try it again, Ven. Oops. Coffee. Coffee. Okay, so it's neither coffee or triangle. So we need to find this orientation video. Guess we need to find that orientation video. Oh, hold on, we got a box. Boom. Boom. That's that's a pretty easy lock to do. Come on. Okay, boom. Take those. Okay, so orientation video is probably not gonna be around here, but let's make sure we're not missing anything. Anything in the border body? Nah, I didn't think so. Okay, so orientation video, we need to find that. Maybe we could find, like, a staff room or something? <coughs> yeah, sorry. Hmm. The plus from this. Okay, so where would the orientation video be? Oh, how'd I miss that? Probably because it's dark. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be through there. Maybe the gift shop? Tasting room. Welcome center. Hmm. There's a gazebo. Never cooler, geez. Who just leaves all this lying around? Okay, maybe it's in the welcome center. I mean, I see a TV. Yep, and he's highlighting it for us. Yep. Shit. The videotape is missing. Oh, of but course it is. It's on there. Gotta find it. Just okay. our luck. Let's see if that orientation video is around here. I'm giving the A. If it's these guys, they're not really moving to us, so... Oh, come on! All those shots! Hey, come on! Come on. There we go. Okay, orientation video. I don't know if it's gonna be over here. Where where did I put the orientation video? Well this area is cleared off anyway due to the water and such. Uh, so I don't think orientation video is over here. Ooh, but we do see this. <clears throat> That's easy. Boom, 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 boom. Easy. Yeah, we're we're fine on our supplies. We got a lot of supplies now. 
Oh, he's highlighting it. I saw it. Yep. You see the little particles that kind of help highlight it. Oh. Oh, we need to ask the sheriff. That or might be over here at the gazebo. Well, I'm glad to see you're okay. Have you Video seen the tape? Missing from the <clears throat> welcome center. I think the password I need is on it. You haven't seen it, have you? Yeah, I've seen it. But that tape is chock full of government brainwashing. I watched a bit and it it was doing something to me. It's dangerous. You can't watch that tape. I we need, need that to vote. videotape, Sheriff. Well, this is exactly how they get you. Well, that's not how they're going to get us. <laughs> but fine. If you really want it, I hit it in the Ferris wheel, cup number four. You'll need this key. Don't say I didn't warn you. Bank is still, though. Okay, grab that. Ferris wheel cup number four. I'm trying to remember where the Ferris wheel is. Is that it over there? Never mind, Ferris wheel. Literally right there. Huge, giant Ferris wheel. How do I get in there, though? Just up here. Whoa! Ow! Uh oh, come on, reload! Yeah, heal. <gasps> there we go. Reload our gun. Yeah, they're all up on our coffee. <laughs> imagine, if, imagine if the twist of this like entire series would have been if it actually was like the coffee was well was doing this. <laughs> imagine that. Okay, so number four, you say. Number four is up there. Great. Okay, so we need to start this machine. Good thing gave us the key. Um. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it is seven. One. <laughs> Wait, he said number three or four? Number four, my bad. Don't know my numbers, apparently. Yep, number four. It's a bit sideways, but still. So, you up <laughs> for a movie? <laughs> That's a yes. Okay, let's go watch the film. Need just get back to the welcome center. Welcome center this way. I'm kind of glad they're not like trying to recap even having control in this one uh, little expansion DLC episode. Because I definitely recommend checking out Control. It's a really fun game. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, excuse me. They might end up adding more stuff about Control in later DLCs. Dark Triangle Coffee is a fast-growing company with ambitions to sweep the nation and eventually the globe with our out-of-this-world beverages. Drawn by our coffee's distinctive flavor and our unique beans, people are rushing to join the Dark Triangle movement. The company's mission statement is simple. To drink the truth there. is to become one. That's what we need. One. Truth. Is truth. <laughs> now we can Yeah, I saw the swirl. It's literally uh, trying to be its own... Yeah, it's literally like a brainwash thing. We know this isn't actually how it is in the Alamec 2 world, so it, it's fun how they are doing this. Yeah, it actually was like some form of brainwashing. Boys, 
screaming in my head. But we got what we needed. Mm-hmm. The fourth word of the mission statement. Truth. Yep. Let's get back to that warehouse. Yeah, like I was saying, I do love how this is kind of like alternate versions of Alan if Wake 2's events. Happened? What is this agency trying to do here? Control people? But why? What's their plan? What if my brother has already been... No. I didn't come all this way to lose him now. Yeah, because like the whole Night Springs things, I mean, it's obviously a play on uh, the Twilight Zone series. So I love how they're doing like... If the Alan Wake 2 world was one world... And Night Springs was own like separate alternate world versions of this stuff. <clears throat> it's truth. We know what it is. It is truth. Truth. Open the door. Are you serious? 180. 180? <clears throat> Are you serious? Okay, you have any hints this time? Of where I should go for this? The optimal roasting temperature. You don't happen to know, do you? I definitely don't. Didn't think so. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, well then let's get probably to the gift shop. Yep. Or hold on. It's highlighting over here. I've loitered in enough coffee shops to recognize a roasting machine. Let's check this out. Angles of triangle prime numbers. 1 plus 2 plus 1, 2 plus 4 plus 3. What? Oh, it's a puzzle? Oh, great. Okay. Um. More than some of its parts. Okay, so the temperature is higher than whatever this is. Okay, a uh, dark triangle coffee has opal roasting temperature, which is greater than the sum of our triangle. More than some of its parts. Unique roast. Um, that looks like a lot of math and geometry shit, and, um,. Let's just say that's not something I'm good at, at all. This is like being back in school. It is. I don't like it. You know, the first digit of our optimal roast temperature is half of a second, and the third digit is one less than the one before. Oh, for God's sakes. Why does it always need to be math? Why? Math is not something I'm good at. Fine. I don't roast temperature for dark trunk coffee is below 500. Number? Temperature for dark trunk coffee is below 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Which is also number of light years between Earth and planet X13. The hell does that have to do with? Okay, so it's lower than 500. Prime. So prime number? Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. Okay. First digit of our part. Optimal roasting temperature is half of the second. So if it's half of... First digit is half of the second. So if, say, uh, the second digit was four, first one would be two. And then the third digit is one less than the one before. So it would be two, four, three. Don't tell me that's it. No, didn't think Guess so. They only hire mathematicians here. Exactly. <clears throat> prime. Are you saying they all need to be prime numbers? Because that's not possible. Is it? No, it's not possible. It can't be all primes if one is supposed to be half of the other. <sighs> <clears throat>
the middle number has to be a prime, because that's the only way you could do it in half. So if that's the case, if it was 6, then it'd be 3, 6, 5. Is it 3, 6, 5? Hmm. Okay, what about... Right. What about 4, 8, 7? I think that worked. I can do math! I can't do a math! Who knew would actually come in handy? I have no comment. Screw geometry. <laughs> I'ma just say that. Screw geometry. 487. Why did I accidentally press that button? 487. Huh. Why does math always gotta be so tough? Me and math just don't go well together. Okay, 487. Yep. Oh, for God's sakes! Oh, come on! I tried the coffee. No, I am indeed not coffee. Worth a shot. Try the coffee. Oh, this is not gonna go well. As soon as we drink the coffee, I feel like in this version, but I can't stop now. The coffee is gonna be like inducing chemicals and stuff. <clears throat> That's a yes. I think he's dead. Okay, let's go to the coffee, I mean the gift shop. Where? <laughs> what the? Tasting room. Nah, this is where we need to go. Yep. Yeah, I feel like this version of the coffee is going to be like inducing drugs. <laughs> yeah, this looks completely normal. Here goes nothing. Yep. Let's see how well this coffee is going to be. You. Huh. That wasn't so. <gasps> Come one with the coffee. <laughs> Definitely something wrong with this coffee. Yeah, I think. I knew I could. Shit. What's happening? Is it the gazebo? Where's the sheriff? Don't tell me you went to the warehouse. Yep, I see him. He's at the warehouse. Dang it, Sheriff. Are you alright, Sheriff? <clears throat> I heard gunshots. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I was looking for you when one of those things jumped me. Got a little bit of coffee in my mouth, but I spit it out. Should be fine. But listen... I figured something out. What did you figure out? Yeah. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, yeah, it's nothing. Those government bastards will never get me. <laughs> I think they're getting but to you. It, it's not just the government. There's something else here. I, I don't know what it is, but it's... You need to get your brother and get out of here as soon as you can. Promise me. Yeah. I promise, Sheriff. Good. That's good. I'm just gonna catch my breath here a minute. I'm... <sighs> you sure? Okay, well, we got our own thing we need to do. So we tried a coffee, so hopefully it'll let us in. <clears throat> we have tried the coffee. Try the coffee. I tried. 
tried the coffee. Of course, I need to forfeit my weapons, because why can't I have weapons? I am not coffee! Now he, he is coffee. Look. What the fuck are those things? Hello, Fino. The mug is safe as they desire, but door to him is locked and key is on my former desk, hidden behind the coffee bag. So I've completed my purpose and time has come for me to join for percolation. I've locked the inner doors, they instructed no one will get past without a blessing. I must hide the key my father's purse on my desk near. Okay, yep, and uh, just one quick little snick snap. Great. Yep, they can one hit kill us. And it's a stealth level, which is something I'm terrible at because I'm always terrible at stealth stuff. Great, 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 great. Me and stealth do not mix. Do not mix. Sorry. Here we go. You ready? We know there's a key at like a desk near here. The entrance. No, indeed, I'm not brute. They are the coffee. Key. Yeah, the key's in here for the office. Probably worth holding on to. Open the door, get in. Boom. No coffee's getting me. No coffee's getting me. I've done their bidding, packaged their coffee, and brought the people to Coffee World to share their blessing. They say I'm almost ready. Great. Okay, well. I brought you a coffee. Hey, a sheriff. Yep. This is... Sheriff. Jeez, it's like it's a Starbucks cult. I just realized that it's a Starbucks cult. <laughs> How'd you get Sheriff. in here? Oh, How'd he's the one behind here? it all. He's the leader of the Starbucks it cult. <laughs> family time. It's the it's best, best part of the day. Hey, snap out of it. He's drank too much. <laughs> he's drank too much of the coffee. It lowers heart disease and leads to higher life expectancy. Uh, I don't know if those are quite true. I'm so sorry, Sheriff. Oh, this is a nightmare. I need to find my brother. Turns out he's a leader of this Starbucks okay. cult. <laughs> okay. I see the galaxies. What? It's it's literally a coffee cult. So in this Have version anything like this? of some of the, of of, the, of some of the things from Alan Wake 2, in this version, it's basically a coffee cult conspiracy run by the government. Great, yep. That's amazing. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad that these games aren't... I mean, these DLCs are kind of like just like, kind of alternate, like, what if, almost. 
almost like what if episodes, basically. Like, what if instead of it being sent around Alan Wake and a lake and whatnot, instead it was sent around Jess and a coffee cult. <laughs> Imagine. I wonder if they ever actually do plan on, like, having Jess and Alan actually, like, meet each other. I mean, they kind of have somewhat in the Control this DLC. The government. Is it? It's Alan? It's, it's Alan, isn't it? Yep, that's definitely Alan, yep. He's a leader of the Starbucks cult. So the brother is Alan Wake. Yep. <laughs> this is the most trippiest stuff. That's what I'm loving about these like Night Springs DLC here. It's it's about as trippy as the actual like uh, uh Twilight Zone anthology. Within the conspiracy. Yep. <laughs> How can one expose a lie when the truth exists beyond our wildest imagination? Who can ever truly know how deep? The rabbit hole goes in night springs. Okay, now that's gonna be it for that night springs episode. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, because the first one is basically what if kind of like a alternate version if like Rose. Kind of like one of her fan fictions came to life. And this one's kind of a play on the whole conspiracy conspiracy thing with using Jeffs. With using, not Jeff, sorry, using Jess. Which makes sense since her whole game is centered around the BRO control. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I wonder what the final one's going to be about. Because we got one more left Time Breaker. Then, of course, the Lake House DLC isn't out yet. But I would like to actually see Jess have a bigger role. In like Alan Wake sometime in future because only our parts we've seen of her with Alan is in the control DLC that centers around Alan Wake but besides that they have not actually like formally met face to face no but they do know about the bureau control well that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe since it supports me and the channel and if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all do leave it in the comments down below but till then i'll see you guys next video stay awesome